That's good. What's going on, guys? Well, I'm back down here on the uh, on the river. That's the Murray River I'm talking about. Just uh, come down to me. Uh, new favorite cod fishing spot um, yeah this was the same spot that I was fishing on the uh, on my last cod fishing video and uh, yeah got at a good little session then so I want to capitalize on that I'm after a real nice cod today so I'm in here for the long haul so um, not leaving without one so enjoy so this is the hole I've been fishing <laughs> last time I had a real good sesh here uh, yeah be sure to check out my last video but um, yeah, river's probably gone down a little bit, but um, not too much. It's still um, it's still a good little spot here, so um, nice and deep. So that's where I will be fishing. Right, I just get myself set up here. Using cheese today, and I'm also using chicken. So both very good cod baits. Um, I don't know what's best, so it's probably a bit of an argument to be had there. So we give them, uh, we'll give them both a run for their money today. Um, yeah, righto, let's get into it. Come prepared this time. Got me old uh, brag mat. So we'll be able to get a measure. Rightio, <clears throat> first rod. I'll put the cheese on this one. Just two blocks. Just on the little circle hook that I had last time. Make sure the tip of the hook's nice and exposed there, uh, so you get a nice clean hook up. So that one is just going to go. Oop, cheese fell off. Got it again. Oh yeah, this one is going to go. Slightly downstream a bit, just on the edge of that current there. Radio <clears throat> rod number two. It's going to get a nice slab of chicken on it. I'm just using thigh, chicken thigh. Usually goes well for me, so stick with that. Loop in, in a couple of times. There you go. Should do the trick. And that one's just going to go straight out in the slow stuff. Just like that. Already getting a nibble on the on the cheese. Yeah, I'm getting a couple of real nice bites on this rod here. Twice I've missed him, so. Oh, yeah. oh man, spat it. Shit. He was on that time. Oh man, I've been playing with him. <sighs> well, as far as uh, cheese versus chicken goes, uh, cheese is definitely winning so far. Though I have had a couple of bites on the chicken. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> mostly on the cheese. There we go, watch the rod, the bells, he's got it. Just let him take it, let him take it, let him hook himself. He's got to be there. Should I strike? <laughs> Just got to let him play with it. Here we go. Surely. Well, I'm that much more confident in the uh, cheese today. So much so that I am going to give the chicken the flick. I'm going to put run both uh, both rods on cheese because they're getting all the bites. Nothing on the chook. There we go. Joy. Oh God. It has to just be. 
couple of small cod in there just mucking around with that chase because it is really doing my head in. Well, I'm thinking I've just about had a gut full of these uh, <coughs> little cod stealing me bloody bait at the moment. There's one biting just now. <coughs> and I can't hook them. They must be small. Here we go. The rod's just bouncing around. Oh, there we go. Got one. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's a better fish. Well, it might not be too bad. <laughs> I thought they were just tiny, tiny cod. He's not massive, but <laughs> bigger than what I thought. Beautiful. Finally, on the board. Alright, get rid of these bells. And I'll sort this brag mat out. Get a measure. You wouldn't believe it, he just regurgitated a bit of cheese. You can see it in the water there. <laughs> uh, this one's definitely the cheese stealer. So, it could have been the only one in there. Oh, don't you, buddy. Cut me hand, you little bugger. All right, I've got him. All right, I'll throw him on the mat. So he is 48 centimetres right there. He looks awesome in that sun there too. <coughs> Real sort of dark in colour. Pop that hook out. There he is. Not a bad fish. A lot bigger than what I thought was stealing me cheese, so I'm happy with him. All right, I'm gonna get him back. There you go, mate. Here he goes. Oh yeah, we're on the board. Well, we're back in the game here. I definitely thought that was a smaller cod stealing me cheese. So I'm happy to get a decent sized fish there. I'm just gonna get back in there. See if we can't get another one. So I'm still thinking I might uh, make a move very shortly. I'll give it another five minutes here. If it's, um, if I haven't got any bites, <coughs> I'll move up to the, um, the other end of the hole here. Um, and give this, give this a bit of a rest here for a bit. Come on. <laughs> uh, another small one. So like trout cod. <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna lift him up this one. <sighs> yeah. Look at that. Lovely little trout cod. They always hit hard and fight hard, these little buggers. Right, no need to measure him, he's small. I'll uh, unhook him. He's straight back in there. All right, I'm gonna pack these rods up and make the move that way. Righto, spot number two. That one can go straight out there. This one can go straight out there. See how we go with that. It's definitely not a hot bite like it was uh, last time I was here. I think um, I was here Boxing Day, and um, <clears throat> it's definitely cooler than what it was on Boxing Day. I think it was very hot, about 35 degrees, something like that. So, um, cooler temperature might have a little bit to do with it. it seems to turn them off a little bit. Um, I was last time I was fishing just ahead of a thunderstorm here too, so that um, generally can get them. 
get your turn the bite on a bit so anyway stick with it there's um, a couple good spots I'm pretty sure I haven't been down there but there's a couple of good spots downstream from here which um, if I don't get a bite in the next sort of 15 minutes so I might go for a bit of an explore um, see if I can't find some some more spots to fish it's always good to have a few spots so might just bloody go for an explore see how we go One thing you do have to be careful of when you walk in uh, the banks of the Murray this time of the year, bloody snakes, they're everywhere. Tiger snakes, brown snakes, black snakes, they're all here. And I hate them. <laughs> Eyes down. Prime location there. Uh, I reckon I can jump down the bank there, nice little spot. Give this a crack for a bit. Got this funny little rod holder from BCF the other day. Gonna give it a whirl. I don't know how to go if you hook a metery. Might snap in half. <laughs> now, let's see how it goes. Just had a good whack on that rod right there. Right eh. Let's look to fish. I wasn't ready for that one. <laughs> Nearly pulled the rod in. He's only a little one, but a bit more action. Nice little fish. He's probably only 30 centimetres. <laughs> there he goes. He's nice and healthy. Give spot number three a go. Be about this too. Oh, he's all right. He's getting a bite too. <laughs> it's all happening. <laughs> he's not a bad little fish. So probably 40 centimetre cod. Get him back. I'm gonna wrap it up there, I think. Yeah, not a bad little session. Um, I think I got four cod. Nothing real big, but um, yeah, just, I've been uh, talking to a few boys around the traps and they're not getting too many, so. It's probably not a bad little session. I think the, the water's dropped a little bit, so and it's been a little bit cooler, and in my opinion, that sort of puts them off a little bit. So, yeah, not a bad little session anyway, so I'm happy with that. So, yeah, if, if you like the content that I've been putting out, just uh, hit subscribe on the uh, on YouTube there. And, um, yeah, I love making the videos, so love you to get on board. 
leave a comment so I can get better at what I do. So, yeah, all good. I love it. One thing I forgot to mention, cheese beats chicken hands down. I'm a, I'm a believer. Cheese is my favourite anyway, but I'm sticking with it.